In this video, I'm going to give you a very basic overview of the Cisco ASA firewall security level um, feature. Basically, security levels, um, each security level will be a different security zone or domain, if you like. Um, so, for example, the uh, um, <coughs> security levels are from 0 to 100. Each level is a different security domain or zone. So you can you can assign an interface to one security. You can assign an interface one security level. So each interface belongs to a security zone. Obviously, in different contexts, that's slightly different. But this is just a basic um, overview in ASA's normal rooted mode. Okay. So no, we don't want to do that. So that all of these commands will be entered from the global configuration mode. Uh, in, the, in the interface mode, interface configuration mode, sorry. And basically, you have two ways of doing it. You can do it, um, the ASA recognizes names that you give the interface as different security zones. So, for example, if I was to call this interface inside, the ASA will name, will by default, give it a security level 100, the most trusted level. There you go. And then if I was to name this out the outside interface, the security level, the ASA would name it as, uh, would set it to zero, the security level to zero by default, as it recognizes the outside is probably a untrusted network. So the way it works is that untrusted networks, well, I would say untrusted, they're not untrusted, least the, um, the less trusted a network, so the less less of the value of the security level it can't travel the traffic the traffic coming from that interface can't travel to a interface with a higher security level set so for example in this this example here my gigabit ethernet one the traffic coming from the internet let's say the internet's connected off this interface that couldn't flow from the internet into my gigabit ethernet zero interface and host and devices on that by default unless unless we go into the firewall access control lists and explicitly say so however hosts and devices on gigabit ethernet zero by default are allowed to travel to least to lesser trusted interfaces so because Internet Gigabit Ethernet Zero is uh, 100. It can flow to Gigabit Ethernet One because the security level sets at zero. So, if we wanted to manually override, or if we gave an interface a name that the ASA didn't recognise, for example, name let's call it LAN, we can override that with a security level, let's say 99. Voila. That's how you set the interface to security level 99. So the Gigabit Ethernet 2 name LAN is less trusted than the Gigabit Ethernet 0. Therefore, traffic originating from 2 to 0 is by default implicitly denied. However, traffic coming from Gigabit Ethernet 0 onto Gigabit Ethernet 2 is allowed by default because we have a higher security level set. So, what about VLANs? If you had, for example, a trunk interface on your ASA, I know it's a rare, rare uh, scenario that you might have, but say for VLANs, if you had multiple sub interfaces, so let me do 3.10 VLAN, uh, no, sorry, you got to set the VLAN first, so VLAN 2, um, I've got to do that, 3. 10, we'll put the VLAN as 10, that's where that's and then we'll name it VLAN 10 interface, blah blah blah. We'll set the security level to 99, and then we'll go and do internet bit Ethernet 3.11 VLAN 11, name IF VLAN 11. Okay, security 99. So here we've got a scenario where we've got multiple sub interfaces of one physical interface uh, with VLAN set. 
and how how does the traffic work flowing from them? Well, by default, because they're sub interfaces, they are not permitted to share information or traffic flows from each other, even though they have the same security level. Um, to overcome that, all we enter is um, same security traffic permit inter interface. And what that says is that interfaces on one physical interface, so sub interfaces, with the same security level, traffic is permitted. Okay? There is another command which you must not mistake this with, which is permit intra interface. Now, this is for use when you've got multiple VPNs terminating on one interface, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. That's out the scope of this video. But that pretty much sums it up. If you wanted to review all of your security levels and names that you give an interface, one command, show name IF. And that's it. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or you'd like to leave some feedback, just uh, comment below and I'll be happy to answer anything you may have to ask. Okay, thank you.